Hey, what is up, guys? My name's Eric. Today I'm going to be reviewing a card I think we've been waiting for. I know I've been waiting for something like it. And that is Epiphany at the Drown Yard. X in a blue for an instant. Reveal the top X plus one cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles, put that pile in your hand, and the other into your graveyard. This is just like Sphinx of Uthun and Fact or Fiction. Except those two focus on five cards and then two piles and you get one of those piles. I like this a lot because it's X. And I've been waiting for that for a long time to get... It, it could be cheap and you do it sooner, so earlier in the game. Or if you get it late game, you can really pile in that mana. And so especially since it's instant speed, you can do it at the end of the opponent's turn. Let's say you put seven and a blue into it. Well, you get eight cards off the top. And you get to, they go into two piles, you get to take one of those piles. It's awesome. I love it. I love these kinds of cards because it's like draw, but it's not. It get, yes, you give your opponent some information. They know what you could get. They know what you have going into your hand. And they can stop it. They can plan accordingly for that. I get that. And yes, that's like the only downside I can think of. But you get to pick the cards you want. And it's really nice. Well... No, you kind of sort it out. They pick the pile. So, I mean, you can kind of manipulate it to pick the cards you want, but not guaranteed. So, I, I, I will change that. I, I misspoke there. But it's still, you can manipulate it to get the card that you really want. And really, if you happen to look at the top six or seven cards, or even three cards, you know what you want. So, you're going to, like, go and put... Say, say it's five cards, and you really want this one, you make a pile of one and the other pile of the other four cards. The opponent is probably going to be pretty wary of that one card, but if they give you the four cards, card advantage. If they give you the one card, it's the one you really needed. I'm really excited. I've, I've always liked these kinds of cards. Making the opponent have options over your plays, not always good. Well, I don't think it's ever good, actually. Except Browbeat. That's the first one that comes to mind that was good. Like, Book Burning? Nah, whatever. The, uh, what was it? Like, Dash Hopes? Two black, counter, uh, it was, like, counter a spell unless the opponent loses five, five, pays five life? Loses five life? Yeah, you don't want to give them options like that. I feel like this one, not as big of a deal because you still get cards either way. And you can kind of manipulate it. I'm going to have to say, for draft, it's a four because in draft... I really, I mean, you could, if you get three, four, five cards, you're going to find something you can really use. And even if you don't get the one you really wanted, you can still find something useful because it's draft. A lot more stuff is valid and useful in that format. Standard, a 3.5 because you can build the deck to manipulate it. And the same reasons as draft. You get the cards, you, you have a better chance of getting the cards you need and one. Modern, another 3.5 because in modern, I feel like, I don't, I don't know off the top of my head, but I do feel like in modern, this would be so easy to manipulate. Very easy, and I like it. I like the potential. I feel like it has tons of potential in modern. Where? I don't know. I honestly do not know, but I'm not going to look at it and go, nah, whatever, because I can't think of something. I'm sure somebody's going to think of something to break the hell out of this in modern. EDH, a four, because EDH is all about big, expensive creatures, and that's where you get all that mana, and you're going to have like 10 cards laid out on the table, and you get a pile, one of the two piles that you have to make. It's awesome. I like it. Lots of cards. And that's what EDH is about. The big, big things you wouldn't normally see in standard, modern, casual, draft, any of that. So, that's what I'd say at Epiphany at the Drown Yard. If you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below. If you like my opinion, you agree with it, give me a like. If you want to see some old reviews, check out my channel. If you want to hear future reviews, Subscribe to the channel so you get those updates when I put up a new video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.